Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today I'm here with my Unix tablet, which is the iPad, but it is also a cousin of Linux and my uh, application will be using the Medibang application, which is a drawing application. So let us see on this particular uh, Linux app if it is going to be working with our Android or in our tablet. I'm Blair, your science teacher, and this is Linux app, Midibang drawing app. So this time I'll be using two of our pencil, which is one of this is our ordinary pen the universal and the other one it is the apple pencil so we gonna take a look into this two uh pencil which is we gonna use on this particular linux app but first we gonna take this apple pencil for a test drive so let's open the midi bang okay midi bang paint so yes it is updated and open yeah let's open our backup thing so i have this different types of of layout already so we're going to take a look into this one so as you can see i already have this different types of layers already so this is clear okay let's try to turn the paint this is my drawing way back in 2021 so I have this drawing for about a few years ago and this one. So I need it to be digitalized and I picture it and put it on my tablet. And at the same time, it has been beautiful already, right? So what if, if we're going to digitalize it? So this is the thing. Uh, I already making this... Uh, digital already but of course it is not yet finished and i'm making the video right now so that you can have this example for the linux app which is the midi bang so right now i have this pen all the lines i put it on the layer 3 while the colors in layer 4 but of course i'm gonna be using the other layers later layer 5 so that is right now so we don't have any pictures right so how about in our layer one i duplicate at the same time so that I, if i do something wrong i have this this backup thing every time that you add you have to go to this x thing you know the x right here i mean you have to add so click the add right here you go to the color layer yes of course you have to go to the layer uh so you can rename it at the same time so this is gonna be my uh lines so i change the name into line and this one will be the uh, color all right let's remove this one number four and then layer six i'll delete this one first okay delete and layer five will be our test uh layer so right now um as you can see we can just draw with our hands but if we use the apple pencil let me let me clear this one first so this one it is now in our a pencil so test so we have uh, strokes what if on the side in the center uh, I also press hard this is light but harder and harder and harder all right so yes you have the beautiful aesthetic of our drawing right here and of course we need to know which uh, will be using this one some of you don't have any idea on this particular uh, application 
we have the hamburger settings right here the icon we have the over write file save export with png and jpeg files uh, export to customized format at the same time the cloud the auto recovery we have also the time lapse if you want to record it in time lapse you know we also have the operations guide various uh, settings and add remove if you want to remove this ad right there so it depends on i'm just using the free anyways this is the copy cut paste rotate and so on and so forth on the lower we have the select and deselect and some of our stuff right here we also have the rotation which is the left and right flip and so on and so forth we have also the parallel cross uh, uh, crisscross vanishing and lines blah 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 thing and of course we have our pressure our pen pressure which is either we apply pressure which is light or or maybe if you want to take it hard so it will also apply on it the palm rejection you can turn it on finger mode at the same time if you want to uh, turn on the finger mode it depends but I'm using the pen right now so uh, I'll demonstrate with the pen uh, we also have the pressure sensitivity of three and at the same time we have the double tap if we double tap right here it is either erase or it is in the pen so as you can see uh, when i double tap it has changed to erase and double tap again we have the brush so we have also different types of settings right here for your preference for example uh, transparent undo redo hand tool and so on and so forth so many so uh, try to know your settings first before you do anything about it okay we also have this one uh, the brush the color right here so the color we have also the brush we have the uh, color settings right here we have the hand hand tool for example we have the hand tool right here we also have the color settings what if i gonna put it on the color yellow so it will change color what if if there's something like on the, on the hidden so it will be on the hidden this is actually let me see blue yellow so there you have it so it depends on your selection so the undo redo at the same time we have the brush right here let me remove the color first uh, at the same time we have the clear layer and the lasso right here the lasso will be like if you lasso it you can remove that particular thing you know so undo we also have the lines the zigzag curve and so on and so forth we also have this uh, dot brush uh, moved and the size okay let's not do that one we also have the field tool which is either it's gonna be like your uh, paint bucket gradient tool we have the select tool we have the magic one same time we have the select arrays uh, this one is the panel material uh, materials and the divide tool and of course if you want to have the text you have that one so materials i set it on layer so that i could like see it anyways so let's go back to this one because this is test so so in the layers we have the opacity uh, if it is 100% or make it like 50% something so opacity tells you on how hard your layers will, will be for example that one yes so 
you have the opacity like that one zero put it in 30 put it on 60 100 yeah so that is how we use the opacity and we also have the protect uh, alpha if we are doing the alpha thing and the it is in settings of normal right now so let's go back to player so clipping yes i don't want to clip okay and lock if you want to lock it so you have the small icon right here it means it is layer lock so i'm gonna turn it on what if i gonna use another uh settings so we have watercolor right here 50 percent wet we have also wet so what if we use the wet one let me see so this is in layer 5 this is the test so see it is cool uh what if uh light only you see it is light so we have the watercolor let me turn off this thing first so how about this one uh, light apply light see it is barely coloring it right so I could like to move the hand right now if I want to zoom in okay uh, let me see So harder, 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 harder. How about side? And then harder, harder, harder. Yeah. So it depends on your preference uh, with your brush at the same time. That is why we have different uh, settings right here. We also have the soft fluffy right here. So let me see. There. What if I gonna pressure it? All right. How about the settings? I want to have different settings. So let me see. Light only light on the sides. How about we pressure it? Okay, light pressure. So that is our settings. So hmm, let me see. Let's go to the brush. So we also have the airbrush right here. Soft, hard, it depends. So you can play around with your mini band right here. So you have different uh, types of, of brushes right here. So it depends on your drawing skills. If it is on the real. So that is how we use the mid bang. Oh yeah, you also have the options down here. So the options down here, it's all about your shortcut. If you want to have the shortcut like the same on the edges right here. So you have that option too. So you have also the settings right here if you want to uh, just uh, uh, scroll right here. So we have the pen, pen pressure right here. So we already finished our Apple Pencil. How about if we use the Universal Pen? So let's turn it on. All right, there it is. We'll use the airbrush, okay? So this is our test right now. So as you can see, we apply hard. How about if we use the other one? Oh, let me see. So the pen pressure is not uh, operating if we are using the universal thing. So we're going to turn it off right now. So as you can see, it is just basically the uh, color that we have. Another. We have the soft right here. We have the hard. We have the clouds. 
So what if I gonna use a cloud something? If you're using the uh, not the Apple Pencil, uh, the universal thing. So you can use the stop one thing or just basically just uh, this one. So if you have some questions, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. This is the hands right now. How about the airbrush and the hands? All right. So no pressure. <laughs> How about pressure? Cool. So yeah, uh, basically I already covered everything. So, well, that's midi bang, midi bang drawing app. So if you have some questions, feel free to ask me. Write them in the comments down below. Uh, this is Blair, your science teacher, and this is the midi bang drawing app, which is uh, available for free in Unix and uh, at the same time windows linux and unix so it is available in all platform if you're using the ipad or the android tablet or maybe your windows or mac or maybe linux so you can use the midi bank but of course if you want to record to remove the ads you have to click this one and then you have to pay that's the thing they have to earn something right so anyway, uh, if you have some questions, write it in the comments down below. I'm Blair, your science teacher. Catch another episode of Linux app next time. This is Midi Ben, our Linux app today. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Ciao.